Hello everyone. I am Dr. Ankit Parak and I work as a consultant in pediatric respiratory medicine and allergic problems and I work at Children's Chest Clinic in Delhi. So in this video, we talk about that how can you get rid of dust mites which is a common cause of allergy in children in India. Now, if a child is suffering from allergic problems like asthma, nasal allergies, eye allergies, or skin allergies or atopic dermatitis, we need to test them for common allergies. And the most common allergens which cause these problems are indoor allergens. These allergens could be dust mites, these allergens could be animal dander, either in the form of a cat or a dog dander, or they can be things like cockroaches and molds. But the most important culprit is dust mites. And dust mite allergy is an allergy which remains year round. So what are dust mites? So dust mites are very tiny insects which are seen in our homes. They are very small and hence they cannot be seen with the naked eye. These dust mites usually are called as Dermatophagoids species and the two most important being Dermatophagoids teronaceus and phalony. And occasionally storage mites known as Blumia tropicalis is also a problem. Now contrary to the common belief these dust mites don't bite humans. But then what causes allergy? It is the proteins in the feces of the stool of these dust mite which is highly allergenic. Now these dust mites basically feed on the dead skin which is actually shed by humans. And hence these dust mites are usually seen in areas where we sit or where we sleep. So these dust mites predominantly are seen in our bedrooms, in our mattresses, in the bed sheets, in the bed covers, in the pillow covers, uh, in the rasai or the blanket which we use. They are also commonly seen in curtains, they are also commonly seen in upholstered furniture like sofas and carpets. Now if a child has a dust mite allergy, then what are the measures do we recommend so that we can reduce the amount of dust mites and hence it can reduce exposure and hence reduce symptoms of a child. Well, we, we all do understand that these measures are difficult but, but they would be helpful to some extent. So we advise parents to you know, put the mattresses to sun at least once a week because these dust mites are heat sensitive. All the beddings which includes pillow covers, bed covers and bed sheet should be washed in hot water and put to sun at least once a week. We should try and remove wall to wall carpets and replace it by either tile or wooden flooring. We should try and remove the curtains and replace them with blinds or use washable curtains. The upholstered furniture which is there in the, in the house should be regularly vacuumed. We should promote doing wet mopping on the floor or poncha instead of dry dusting because if you try and dust your house or use a jharu, then usually the dust mites will, will go along and will go on and settle on a different place, but they are still there in your environment. We also know that dust mites actually thrive in a hot and a humid environment, and hence using a dehumidifier and keeping the relative humidity of the house less than 50% can reduce the population of dust mites. Well, there are situations when we realize that after all these measures, the symptoms do not reduce now in these situations, what can be done? Now, if the children persist to have symptoms and they are seen to be because of dust mites, uh, there are two options which are obviously there. 
treating them with medicines which will reduce the symptoms and keep our children well. But the long-term solution to a dust mite allergy is something known as desensitization or immunotherapy. The most common form of immunotherapy which is used in children is known as sublingual immunotherapy. If sublingual immunotherapy is used in proper doses and for proper duration of time, it can significantly reduce the symptoms of a child and sometimes even offer a cure. So for more information, you can see our video on sublingual immunotherapy if you wish. So thank you very much and for more information, you can log on to our website ankitparad.com.